Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Sloppy to Rocky. This is my third video in the series that I am going to develop in the coming days and weeks and that is going to be of creating flat icons. And if you're new to my channel, I am a student of Adobe Illustrator and I'm documenting my journey of learning to get better and better at Adobe Illustrator. Uh, if you haven't seen my videos, I would really recommend, especially to somebody who is new, who can check out my other videos. For those who are professional, I really hope someday they would watch my video and leave a comment to help new students like me to get better at it. Having said that, let's get back to work and start creating more awesome flat icons. And the theme that I've chosen to work on are these icons of YouTube. So in my previous video I ju just developed these small icons, two, three icons. I'll continue with that and develop more and hopefully as I practice more and more in the coming days and weeks I really hope to get better at it and pick up you know some more speed. So what is that I'm going to develop now? I'll develop the three dots that's uh, pretty obvious icon when we use uh, YouTube and it's the symbol when you have to press for more options and these are small dots so I'm going to develop these one and give it a white color press OK come back here Alt shift make a copy press Alt shift once again make a copy Select all three, open it up here, go to align, align them properly, equidistantly. There you go, here are my three symbols. Now I'll push them here and align it with the center. And let me see, uh, you know, does it look nice or is it too big? I, I feel like the three dots or these circles are a bit too big so I'm gonna try and reduce their size yeah looks much better now towards adding the shadow so start from here let me see if it's right to do here no bit too much press and do just about here yeah that's nice I was just checking out that the shadow won't overlap or stay below to try and make as realistic as possible give it a slightly different color Try and see another one just about here. I think this should do just about nice. Bring it back here, connect it here, connect it here, and connect it here. Quickly select these two shapes, shape builder tool, make them a single shape. Now select these two the circle and the shadow. Shape Builder minus pressing Alt, press V, select this, control left bracket, push it down, give it a black color, go to the properties and give it an opacity of 20%. There you go, the first shadow. I'll continue to do the same here. Just kind of an eyeball. Yeah. Zoom in. Control Z, press undo. Let's try somewhere around here. I think they should do fine. Zoom out a bit. I'll make this one a bit longer. 
bring it here. Give it a slightly different color. Push this one here. Zoom in a bit. Yeah, this should do fine. black 20 percent opacity we're good to go now i can press ctrl c ctrl shift v this will paste it in the same place hold shift hold shift and drag it down around here push it down with ctrl Hold this in control left bracket until it's below it. Hold the circle, shift builder tool, alt minus, and there you go. Here are the three dots. That's ready. Now, on to the next shape. Let's now make, oh yes, the home button. For that, I'll need to make a home shape. And now the poly <coughs> the polygon tool, sorry, <coughs> forgive me. The polygon tool. Now left click, three ships, okay. I'll bring it here. Center align. Push it down about here. Take this guy, Control Z, Alt Shift. It's okay if you know, it goes in there. This is what matters. Just eyeballing it. Okay, we're good to go. I can combine these two shapes now. Make it one. I'll take this. Or I can draw another. I'll press M. I'll press M. This will give me the rectangle tool. And I'll just roughly draw and I'll give it a different color. Aligned both or simply just hold this intersect now it's in the center select both go to the shape builder tool press alt for minus and there you go I have the house with me now I can turn it to white press alt And as we can already see, it's quite big. I'll reduce its size, holding Alt and Shift together. Kind of this. I want the alignment. Like so. And I just need to build the shadow. Yeah, it's okay. Get in here, start from here. Make the 45 degree angle I need. Push it in here. Shape number one, start from here. 45 degrees, push it, I'll press Ctrl Z, 
change the color so that it's visible take the pen tool quickly click here draw it out attach the points and make it to one shape quickly select both the shapes join them now the circle press salt and minus now just the shape push it down give it a black color make it 30% nice and there you go the home group it together the icon of home the home icon I can you know. so this one is a smaller one which I built on the first day oh, that's okay I can give it a size of 100 pixels this is 92 let me make 100 okay I think now it should just be fine there you go I can keep them here for the moment now on to several two in a matter of 10 minutes so I want to build one more or probably two more let's see what can I do I'll go to the polygon tool I'm basically going to build the previous and the next button left click three okay rotate it make a copy out of it and just flip it around if I do zero it's going to be here I want we'll just get it there you go now uh, I'm going to press M for the rectangle tool and I'm going to click here on the anchor point and there now I'm going to press shift hold and shift about here hold press alt shift about here there you go now I will give them a white color now I just need to put them here as I can see already the size is a bit too big so I'll just make it smaller still big undo make it even smaller or maybe just a bit larger take this one here and try and put in here it's fine press alt and try and Control Z, press Alt. Put one here. I'm going to take these two and group them together as one shape. Now, let me see. This is the center of the circle. So this yeah looks fine to me I'm gonna hold this both group them together this is the center of the circle there you go now to the shadow part so the shadow of this one is gonna fall here so I can bring it in here and then bring it here and combine it from then on to here and this one here so I basically need to just do this part because the shadow uh, from here it will go like this from here it will go like this from here it will go like this let's just build the first part here anchor press shift to here and here go to swatches give it a slightly 
<clears throat> different color come back here um, to the anchor hold shift I have this shape quickly combine these two shapes and now I can push it below this is one for this I know it's gonna fall here and not beyond that or so it won't overlap with it since I'm going to use opacity so what I can do here is take this here little zoom in press shift bring it in here and yeah now click here shift anchor point here here and here quickly select the both shapes combine the three or combine the two select both and combine them together now I can push them below there you go and now select the both shapes shape builder this time around minus by pressing alt there you go and now I give it black 20% opacity and yep that's it nice nice now on to this last one So its shadow will start from here to here. Build the next one, shift. Quickly combine the both shapes. push it below and from here I can build this one zoom it a bit and give it a 45 degree angle here and bring it alongside here and make it a shape Start from here, join it here, and now I have these one, two, three shapes. I can select all three, go to the shape builder tool, combine them, make it to one single shape. Now I'm going to push it down. Now hold the circle. Again, shape builder this time alt minus go back select the shadow it's already black so I just need to make it 20% and there you go so in less than 20 minutes four flat icons I think that's enough for this video I'll continue further with more practice and more shape building. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.